what we want to do this tutorial fix how we are sending and receiving data from last time we just passed writer dot write and we put some text in it which again you can imagine this is not a good way to send or receive data because we can have a lot of things that we want to send and a lot of types of data and it will be very ugly at the very least so what we just do is do a type of serialization and deserialization to make it more clear let's open the dark rift documentation and if we go to advanced and serialization we can check this part as we can see here we have a class constructor which is not that important at the moment and two methods which is deserialize and serialize you can check on here how it's used but for now we'll, we're going to focus over here let's copy this and in the new project we created just click add and create a new item just a simple class let's call it chat now this chat we want to contain our messages that we're sending to the server let's paste inside it the code we just copied and rename the player to chat delete the parts that we don't want because we don't have dark rift in our project as you can see it doesn't recognize this serialize event and serialize event again we can add it just by clicking alt and enter and click on add reference now that it's recognized we can actually do our serialization so instead of doing this read the read string inside here inside the receiver we can just go to our chat and if we create a new variable let's say chat message we can just write chat message equals e dot reader read string now what's important here is if we want to have multiple variables here which we will but not in this tutorial keep in mind the order is very important so as you can see this id here is the first as well on the right side the x is the second and here is the second as well so whatever the order is on the top on the deserialized the same should be in the serialized as well also if you want to check every type of variable you can pass and read from you can do it in the documentation as well because if you're passing integers short integers characters or whatever it is it should be just what's needed for the type you're passing because you want to pass as little data as you have to and as correctly as you can because this is server that doesn't mean we can't pass uh, large data it's just preferably it should be maximum optimized let's delete this and use data and this again we just do the same and e dot writer write and the message now something else we need to finish up here is implement i dark rift serializable and make our chat public so we can access it from the other project now when we go to the main project instead of doing this we are just going to type chat create a new variable of chat reader dot read serializable of type chat and that's it now if we type 
chat dot chat message this represents our message because we just created a new chat uh, class here let's build the project again now when we go to the client project we want to do the same instead of sending the message like this with writer dot write we want to do it with the new class we just created which is the chat class so let's access it now we can see that our namespace is not recognized we just need to reset our intelligence now as we can see we do have our chat recognized so the next step is instead of doing this we just go to add to our variable the text message and we don't need this anymore and instead of passing writer here we just pass our chat now it's safe as you can see it's even more clean more readable and it's easier to do just for test purposes let's change this new way the last part we must do is place our dl from the game models the new project we created inside the server plugins folder the same place where we have our multiplayer game dl placed which is inside server plugins this is because when we go to our server our server uses only this dll so it doesn't recognize our extra project we just created in order for it to recognize it we have to place this dll as well inside the plugins folder so just open it go to build events copy this line paste it underneath it and instead of assets change to server and then save it let's build now if we go to plugins we can see that we have the extra dll as well now let's start the server and our game click on test and we can see everything is working correctly test text new way that was it. Thank you for watching. If you've liked the tutorial, please like and subscribe for more.